Hi everyone, it's Katie from Scrap For Your Life YouTube channel. Welcome to my channel. And today I have the Smash That Small Paper Pad collaboration with Deb Hawk's Crafty Cottage. And I'm sharing um, the book that I showed you back in May. And last month in June, um, I was missing from the collaboration because I was really busy and I really wasn't into crafting. I was doing my uh, garden and I was landscaping my backyard, which I'm still in the process because it's a big project. But um, so I just finished the book and I still have some garden pictures. I don't know what happened to them, but there's a couple of pictures that are missing out of my uh, pictures that I had printed and I don't know what happened so I'm gonna have to go back and take some more pictures so I can put them in the book but I got quite a few pictures that I got for it so in the book just like I said in May I had a feeling it was gonna be this big um, oh yeah and before I go on um, I just want to let you guys know that you can find all the other collaborators in this collaboration in the links below. I'll have all their links listed. So go and check out all the other ladies. And one is on Instagram, so check her out too. And here is the book. And I just put, I had, I'll remind you, I was using this Missile Sparkles uh, wood grain. Paper, and then I was also using a Costco paper pad, uh, mini paper pad that I had from a long time ago, and that's where a lot of these papers came from. So if you don't see the wood grain, it came from the Costco one. And so I put the grow and the bloom and all these little flowers um, and little bees and stuff like that. I have this package, it's called Spring Has Sprung um, Die Cut Pack, and it's by, let's see, MissKateDesigns.com, and it just has a lot of spring things, so I know it's summer now, but I was doing this in the spring, so um, I just want to have a record of my garden that I did this year and where I can put some notes into also with the pictures and uh, this little um, my garden and the 2020 that came from a QVC um, letter pack that I got like 20 years ago off of QVC with a, just a whole bunch of other things with it so I put a little tie, ribbon tie, it's just this glitter uh, ribbon that I had, and I'll show you, well I'll wait and show you the back. Okay, so here I had made pockets, I think I showed you guys that back in May. I had made the pockets already, but I hadn't decorated anything. So I just put on um, this page, the picture in the front of this is the when I started the starts indoors I just put the picture of the cups with the plants and then this is a picture of what it looks like now and it's actually bigger than this now um, a lot of the, the tomatoes are over here and there's a, like two huge um, troughs that I have the bags planted in and I planted in grow bags and uh, I made my own grow bags actually out of like Walmart bags and other little bags that are like the um, poly bags and then over here I had like herbs and lettuces and spinach and um, in the middle I had uh, or I have zucchini and then in the in between they're they're planted um, the grow bags are put into um, pools the kiddie pools and then filled with rocks 
and then you have like a drain hole and then you have it where it wicks up from the bottom into the bags the water so you drain it about I think I put it two inches up so you just have to keep it two inches full at all times so it just will wick the water up and then in the middle I had a larger kiddie pool that has um, like jalapeno peppers, Anaheim peppers, and bell peppers, and chili peppers, which that's a funny story about that, I'll tell you in a minute. But um, the other side of the other one is another smaller kiddie pool, and that has summer squash, yellow crooked neck squash, and yellow squash in there. And I think I have four plants total in that one, and I have three zucchinis in this one. And in the back, you can't see it in this photo, but I have cucumbers, three different kinds of cucumbers in a container that I planted in. And um, they're slicing cucumbers, pickling cucumbers, and some other kind of green cucumber. And then over on this side, I have behind the yellow squash is a um, Armenian cucumber. And then two more tomato plants are right in the back there. And then I also have a rosemary plant, but it's on the other side of the yard. Since I landscaped part of it, I had planted that in a whiskey barrel. So um, I have that. And then what I did was I just took these photos. I'll try not to get the glare. No. I took these photos that I have, and I just have um, different ones. And these are, like I said, they're kind of, uh, when they're just been growing for a couple of months, now they're really tall and bushy. Everything's like overtaking. And this one actually, I had the tomatoes and everything, or I had all the garden planted on the other side of the yard, um, the whole setup on the other side of the yard a different way, but then it rained and we have gophers and gophers made a hole a bunch of holes and part of my tables that I have it set on they were sinking down into the holes so that's almost what started this whole backyard landscaping thing so I moved everything to the other side of the yard and I got rid of the gopher holes and still have the gophers in the front yard I don't know how to get rid of them I'm just been trying to but they keep coming back and then I just have pictures of when I started the seeds and everything and here um, that one's really blurry um, in fact almost there I will never buy this kind of a thing again for planting it was like these um, the pea pots or something like that where it's supposed to be where you can take them and plant the whole thing it's organic but I got so much um, mold and gnats from that and I almost had to throw all of it out because I don't know it just doesn't get rid of the water very easily so I just went to styrofoam cups it's much easier and I didn't get the mold problems and I didn't I got a few gnats but then I got rid of them uh, neem oil that helps okay the second page from now on I didn't put any pictures on the front I just decorated it with what the pictures are so both of these pages are herbs and I just got my pictures of the herbs when they were first growing some things I picked some are mixed with something else but mostly herbs and in that side and then I have like the mint and different things on this side and this is funny because I planted um, chives here and dill here and they're in between the tomatoes and it took me like three months before they even started growing and then the chives somehow they got oregano in there I don't even know how that happened and then I got dill to where it was like right about here and then a worm came and ate every bit of it and then it started over so now it's kind of growing a little bit more I'm surprised it even grew back but 
I've been getting these hornworms in there and it's a crazy thing. Got to keep chasing after them. And I try to use neem oil, but it doesn't work as good. So I just try to pick them off. And then that's a purple dill. I mean, a purple basil. And then I put some basil in here with the tomatoes. And the funny thing about that is that um, they grow pretty good, but I like it because if I get any hornworms, they start out with the bottom there and the basil will start making holes. So I know they're there and then I'll just search for them and I'll find them. And sometimes they're gone because um, if the wasps come and try to pollinate around the garden, the wasps will kill the hornworms. And I got lucky. The First the wasps were not coming because there was a lot of bees coming over by my yellow squash. But then the wasps started coming back. I don't know what happened to make a difference, but they started coming back so I didn't have to fight the worms as bad because I, I noticed they were getting them. And then those tags I was telling you about the last time in May, I just wrote on each one what herb it was. And then I haven't went and did this yet, but I'm going to go back to my journal and I'm going to put like on the back of the rosemary when it started, when I planted it, how big it was and different things or, you know, how long it took to sprout and things like that. And then I just put it in this little pocket. And I got most of my um, clip art on free Google sites. Some of it I got on Etsy. A few of the um, tomato ones I think I got on Etsy. But um, I actually bought something and it didn't work out so... Um, I just went to Google after that. And then here I have the spinach and the same thing, the spinach as it was growing and the radishes, I have that tucked into a pocket. And this little seed pack came from um, uh, Nikki at um, Little, Cra little Crafting Nook, who is here in our collaboration. Um, I won her giveaway um, a couple months ago and this came in it. It was a bunch of farm die cuts and she sent a bunch of cute cards. They were so cute. Um, I might do a video if I get time. I don't know. I don't, don't know if I'll get to it. Um, and this is, I planted the radishes um, directly in the pool, but first I put rocks in the pool. And then you put a drain hole down here on the side about two inches up. And then um, I had green onions here and that took a long time to grow. And uh, before they even started, it took like three months at least. And the radishes were already done by the time they were growing um, to the right size. But um, the radishes grew really well in there. And then you just fill up the side I have a weed cloth in there and it doesn't have any like poisons or anything in the weed cloth. It just lets the water go through and then you just like stick your hose under there, fill up the pool to that and then it will wick up the water. And these sticks are just so I could cover with the top of weed cloth because in May we got extremely heat wave, um, hot weather, uh, 100 over a hundred a lot of days and so I was covering so they wouldn't get burnt up and then just a salad I made with the radishes and my lettuce that I grew and a cup of radishes and then the summer squash and these I got on Etsy actually I did get more on Etsy um, the clip art and then I cut it with my Cricut. Printed it on my printer and then cut it with my Cricut. And this is funny about this uh, squash right here. Um, it's two different colors because the bees were pollinating it with the zucchini. And sometimes they will and sometimes they won't. 
and this one actually got a little hint tinge of green and that got pollinated with a zucchini it tastes just as good though but <laughs> and that's the one that got that side and then that summer squish it's pretty thick right now I have a huge one out on the vine right now I saw it I, I didn't know it was there and it is really big and then the zucchini oh, I hope the glare hasn't been getting it I'm not even watching the camera sorry about that and this is just the lighting grabbed this and made it look yellow but it's really dark green but I love how the lighting got on this uh, picture And then the zucchini, and this one was fully yellow. And that was from that die cut pack. And a little butterfly, I think I got that from um, Deb Hawk from a. Uh, um, swap we were in she had sent in one of those way back and then my tomatoes I had a lot of different kinds of tomatoes and this is all cherry tomatoes and this is Roma tomatoes beefsteak tomatoes endless summer tomato heirloom tomato and there's one more and it looks like aroma but it's not aroma and I forgot the name of it so I didn't make a tag for that one yet I gotta go back and find it um, the package and see what it was but it looks like aroma, but they call it something else. And then that's just a bunch of my cherry tomatoes that I picked. And there's the troughs that they're in. And as I said, this is really uh, short. They're about six foot tall now. And they want to keep growing taller. And I need to get some more steaks because they're running out of room at the top. And then those are some of them. And it's really funny about these um, heirloom tomatoes. They A lot of them are coming out really weird and deformed. It's very strange how they are. Some of them are together. I don't know what causes that. Maybe it's because they're in the bag with... I have two tomato plants in each bag, which I shouldn't. I should probably just have one, but I decided to put two. And I think next year I'm just going to plant the whole trough just with dirt and no bags and just do it that way because it takes quite a bit of fertilizer to do it the way I did it but the most the reason I did do all the bags and the troughs and stuff like that is because um, planting in the ground the gophers will come and they'll just eat everything and they'll make a mess of it so I want to keep it off the ground and then I just have a few more tomato when they started And I put the worm there because the worms were getting my tomatoes. <laughs> and then this is the green onions. And when the radishes were done, I planted um, spinach on the other half. And that went for a while, but then it got hot again. I'm in California, so you know we've had a lot of heat since May. All 90 late. Or, I mean, high 90s and well, over 100, a lot. And then this is just the bell peppers. And the funny thing about the bell peppers is, okay, I got, I had some bell pepper seeds, but I only had a few. So I wanted, when I started them, I, I went to the Dollar Tree and there was, I only got bell peppers and I got the heirloom tomatoes. Well, actually, they weren't heirloom tomatoes. They were beefsteak tomatoes. And I got the bell pepper packets from the dollar store. And those are the only thing that I had the dollar store. The rest I got, like, Home Depot or whatever. But when I planted them, the beefsteak ended up being heirloom tomatoes. And the bell peppers, the ones they were mixed because they were mixed in the same bag I thought they were all bell peppers but the ones from the Dollar Tree were actually chili peppers and they weren't the right thing 
because I didn't even have any chili pepper um, seeds at all. So they started growing in the same bag. One, I had three bags of bell peppers, which I thought, but they ended up being, um, one was half chili pepper, half chili pepper, half chili pepper. And then I got a whole bunch of chili peppers. I, I know someone that really likes them a lot, so I let them have them, but we don't really use them because they're so hot and, um, we have jalapenos and I like those in salsa, but I don't like the chili peppers because they're really hot. So I pulled them out because my bell peppers, they were like staying really low and the chili peppers were overtaking the sun. So I pulled them out. And so now my bell peppers are starting to grow. I'm hoping they grow because I only got two bell peppers so far and they're small. So and then this was um, summer picnic lettuce. I want to grow more of that. Um, it was really good lettuce and we have a lot of salad with it. And then it was planted here and then it was planted here and here. So I was getting quite a bit from it and then about a week ago in one day, I went out there and I guess moths had lay legs and they, the, the worms hatched out and ate every bit of it down to the core, to the root. And I was like, oh gosh. So now I got to wait until I can find some more seeds. I looked at the store and I couldn't find any more seeds for that one. So I'm hoping they get them back in stock because I want to replant them because they could still go all summer. And this is the kale side. And I, I grow my kale just like, I like baby kale. So I grow it a lot in the one bag together. And then I harvest it when it's about that size, maybe a little bit bigger than that. And um, put it in salads and smoothies. And that's what I do with the spinach too. It doesn't get very big, so I just put it in the smoothie. And this over here. And then this one was the Anaheim pepper, and we do use those, and my husband makes salsa, so he puts those in salsa. And that's when it was small. And let me see which one is it. It's this one in the back here. It overgrew everything. It's pretty high. I got a lot of a lot of peppers off of that one. And then this is the jalapeno. And that's one that was small. And the chili pepper is I had pictures of it and I don't know what happened to it. And I I forget where are the other pictures. Oh cucumbers. I don't know what happened to the the one cucumber I had. And this is the Armenian cucumber and the regular slicing cucumber. I do have um, pictures of the vines and everything, and the Armenian, but I don't have pictures of what I harvested from it, so I don't know what happened to that. Okay, this is the Armenian, and these things get huge, and I mean, that's about 12 inches long right there, and because um, that's a pretty big plate, and the ones I just harvested are just like this fat like combine both of them together they got really fat and uh, so I don't know what it was like sometimes they're bigger and sometimes they're not but it's still giving off a lot of fruit off of that one and then this one I just have um, I pickled some cucumbers and some jalapenos and some chili peppers for the friend I have and for us I pickled some um, cucumbers to make pickles but actually I want to do it again because I don't really like spicy pickles and the, all the recipes said to put red pepper flakes in it and everything and vinegar and I don't really like the pickly pickles I'm gonna just do it without it and just make regular pickles so I did some sliced ones and some wedges and uh, and also these are just refrigerator ones, so they'll last about a month or a little over a month in the refrigerator. You don't have to can them or anything. 
and there's tons of recipes online for those and I had never heard of that before I just went on and tried to see what you can do with them and then I found refrigerator pickles because we were getting a lot of cucumbers more than we can eat so <laughs> we happened to give it away so that's that and then the back I just put my name and a flower and then so I had some of the Mrs. Sparkles Oh, let me show you these first. Um, I just made those flowers you saw throughout the book. I just made some more of those little ones. And I still have these left. And the little punched ones. The little tiny ones. Those. And I bagged them up. So the Mrs. Sparkles um, wood grain paper. I have these signs I made. And... I only have these strips and I'm just gonna save these strips for something in the future um, there are little wood strips so I think they would make good labels or something um, across the bottom of whatever I do so I made these signs and I used that seven gypsies book that I showed you guys in the May um, with all the holes and everything I just used those as like chipboard to make the signs and I also covered the backs with uh, papers because I was thinking I could make another season sign on the back which I haven't done and I'm probably not going to do right now but if I want to do something for summer or you know Christmas or whatever I want to do and I could just flip it over when I want to use it and I didn't put any hangers because um, I thought, well, I'll decide when I decide to use it because most of these are spring, so I'll use them next spring around the house to decorate. Um, I'll decide if I want to put hangers on them or if I want to put them in a, like an easel and um, have it that way. So, and this is just from that same pack of um, die cuts that I got from the Mrs. Kate's so misskate.com and these also were from that um, package that I got from Deb Hawk when we had a swap a long time ago too and this one I also made these from the the giveaway that I won from Nikki at Lil, Lil Crafting Nook and um, our little crafty nook and these came in that little die cut pack she sent me and that says hogs and kisses and I thought those pigs were cute and then the back is just that wood grain and then this one says spring and it has more of them butterflies and a bow and I also put on everything these little um, gems in the corner the sparkly ones and this one says spring and it has the flowers and the little butterfly and bee and then the back is the gray so that's all I got done for this month and so I think I am going to do this one for August this is the one I showed you way back but I didn't end up doing it because I wasn't into it um, that month so hopefully I'll be able to do something I have something in mind so hopefully I'll get to this one so thank you guys for watching and if you want to um, follow me on Instagram at scrap for your life yeah at scrap your life and subscribe and leave a comment and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in the next video bye